hello everyone welcome to the channel IT simplified and in today's video I will show you the steps involved when it comes to deploying scale set within Azure so let's get started from your Azure main page go to more services and just do a quick search for scale sets and uh, grab virtual machine scale sets click on create virtual machine scale sets and we'll start with just doing the basic configuration such as giving the name for our scale set so let me give the name give each scale set then you can select the operating system and uh, Azure gives you the option of selecting from Windows as well as Linux in my case I will select 2016 data center edition and we need to put this in a resource group for which I will select FS 101 and uh, you can choose the location where you want to deploy these uh, uh, servers in my case it will be Canada so I'll select Canada Central and then you need to give the name for the person who will be responsible for managing this scale set and make sure that uh, the password is as per the Microsoft standard and then under the instances and load balancer you need to select the instance count so what does that mean is that the number that you're gonna select over here will determine how many server will be spun up from the point you give uh, authorization to Azure to uh, deploy these virtual machine uh, in my case I want to deploy uh, two servers and then you can select the instance size you can go from D1 V2 and all the way to the different kind of or different series of virtual machine which are available in this region in my case I will select DS1 V2 which has one virtual CPU with a 3.5 gig of RAM and then then you have to select the scaling beyond 100 instances so in case you have a scenario in which you want to deploy more than 100 server then you have to select yes and that will allow you to uh, create uh, even further uh, virtual machines as compared to uh, when it comes to more than 100 server in my case uh, I don't want to deploy anything more than 100 instances so I'll select no under the manage disk Microsoft recommends that you select manage disk uh, going forward for any kind of virtual machine that you want to deploy so I will take the recommendation which is by default and then we need to give the public IP address name so basically name of the load balancer which will be in front of the scale set so let me give the name give each scale set IP and I don't want this IP to change so I'll select static and then you need to give a domain name level so let me give the name IT simplified CA and see if it is available yes it is available and the next step is the most important part when we're talking about the auto scale or the scale set so by default it is disabled so when you select enable you see it gets interesting and then you get some more options to configure the first step is to uh, have the minimum number of VMs and the maximum number of VMs so if I select one it means that the minimum number of auto scaling will be one and the maximum it will go is 10 so you will have uh, not more than 12 uh, instances running at the same time in case it uh, uh, satisfies some of the other condition which I will show you so when I say 12 it means this 10 plus the two instance counts which we have specified over here but you can always increase the number according to your needs and depending upon the environment and the next consideration is the scale out and the first thing that you need to configure over here is at what time or at what CPU threshold you want the instance to be spun up in auto scaling so by default it is 75 what I want is I will change this number to 60 so once my uh, threshold of my two instances reaches 60 percent it will spun up another instance uh, within the scale set so it is highly available depending upon the traffic and let me just explain you what does that means so what I have done is that I have configured or told Azure to spun up two uh, VMs or two instances in this case one and two right so as soon as it hit the 60 percent threshold 
uh, in auto scale it will spun up another instance so the minimum it's gonna go one and it can go up to 10 because that is what I have uh, specified so 10 instances it can go so 60% is a threshold it will spin up that and once this also reaches 60% it will uh, spin up another instances and the max it can go is 10 uh, instances so 2 plus 10 is equal to 12 so these are the maximum that I have specified within uh, the Azure portal so far. Let me just flip over again and the second option is the number of VMs to increase by so I can go by one and I can go all the way up to uh, nine or ten in this case because uh, that is how maximum number of VMs uh, I have specified but I will increase this by one VM once it reaches the 60% threshold so that is the scale out. The other option is the scale in so as soon as the CPU threshold reaches 25%, so what does that mean is when this server reaches 25%, it will squeeze back to the way it was originally so that to make sure that uh, we are not wasting any resources because as you know, you are charged for how long your virtual machines or your servers are running within the Azure region. So once it reaches 25%, it will squeeze back to the way it was originally which we have specified so that is what the scale in option is and the number of VMs to decrease by is again one so I have asked them to scale out to go by one and I also asked them to scale in by one too which is uh, uh, pretty straightforward but as I said it will depend upon what kind of infrastructure or what kind of application you're running and it will depend upon certain parameters how many instances you want to spin and for how many instances you want to scale out and scale in but I will specify over here in my case that I want to scale out by one VM and scale in by one VM in this case and from this moment when you hit the create button it will start spinning uh, and it will deploy the two instance counts that I have spoken or which I have told the Azure to deploy and uh, as it reaches the threshold it will keep on increasing by one and uh, the maximum it can go is uh, 2 plus 10 so 12 instances it can go so that is the whole idea of scale set as it gives you the elasticity to deploy VMs uh, at the click of a button you don't need to worry about configuring and uh, you have load balancer in front of this so it will make sure that the load is equally uh, distributed and then you can also specify the threshold when it comes to CPU so in nutshell this was uh, what scale set is and the steps involved when it comes to deploying this in Azure I hope you found this video useful thanks for watching have a good day